the charity called Partners of Change Ethiopia. I got involved with it about a year and a half ago when I met the gentleman called Pete, who is the head of the charity. And it's a fantastic charity. It's a small charity, which means that every penny that gets raised actually gets used on the ground. So I was lucky enough to go out to Ethiopia a year and a half ago and I witnessed the money that had been raised by a friend of mine who's actually got a link with a school in Cookham and another school in um, near Addis Ababa. But we've done a similar thing here and we've got a link with our school, William Hogarth in Chiswick, with a school just north of Addis Ababa in a place called Deborah Burhan. And I thought it's a fantastic charity in that the fact you could see the good work it was doing. About six weeks ago, Caroline and the head of the charity, Pete, came in to talk about Partners for Change Ethiopia and how it would be a good idea to raise copper coins um, to help the Ethiopian children in class. So we've been collecting the pennies to give to the Ethiopian kids because they're very poor and they don't have a breakfast. So we're trying to get the coins to make breakfast for them so they can focus in class. Well, if we give them some pennies, then they can afford they can afford to get clean water and some food so they can still stay healthy. Yay! Yay! Have you been saving them especially? Or have various people saved them already? Yeah, um, our uncle and aunties have and they've already and they already had a bunch of coppers and pennies in like because nobody usually uses them anymore. Now they just use the pound coins and the two pound coins. So they had a lot um, spare, so then we could use theirs. In year four, we wrote some letters to them, like saying our names and what we're like, so they can make new friends. We are going to add up all the pennies after school to see how much we have. So this was a great idea because we thought in this day and age everybody has a pile of one peas and two peas in their house that they really don't know what to do with or in the purse or underneath the sofa or behind a cushion so we thought it's not a lot of money to the people over here some people might have spare pennies some may not but everybody that does if we collect it all together over a six week period what seems like a small amount will soon grow into a much larger amount and then we put all the pennies together from every child in the school we're hoping we'll have got hundreds of pounds and the parents are really keen to get involved so we think we're really lucky in that respect that we've got such a committed community and I think one of the nice things about this charity is that it takes that community commitment that we've got at the school and just looks at it on a more of a global level which is fantastic and the children are so engaged with it. Now it's about looking at the school in the local area and seeing how we can work with that school and maybe I think that's where technology becomes really useful so looking at can we set up a Skype link, is that possible, how can we use social media to interact with the community over there, what resources can we what can we learn from them because I think that's the other thing is we're always really keen, keen to share what we've got and what we can do but actually the, their way of life is so different to ours it's about having a look to see what can we learn from you what do you do that we could maybe take on board and do uh, you know and have a look at your community and see how we can shape things over here well it's great to see the children here learning about life in a developing community in a developing country and great to see how well motivated they'd be to help we're hoping the whole community of Chiswick will get on board with this and help the whole community in Deborah Burham, which is the area we are helping. So if anybody else is interested in getting involved, the website is www.pstethiopia.org.